So Leon made it from Baltayar. But how? I have no idea, miss. All I know is that he survived for almost a year in the mountains before coming back to Ostertal to set up the Edelweiss resistance group. Which made Dana accept the mission you told her about back then, right? Of course, she was given extra training and was dropped near Wagen the following summer to carry it out. Hmm. We'd better get going. It looks like the storm is coming. You go first. Uh, uh, I'll meet you at the tram station in a minute. Of course. Take all the time you need. A dead end. I'll have to go back. The Undertakers must have forgotten it. Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. A dead end. I'll have to go back. Directions, Oscar. Hmm. The Undertakers must store their tools in it. It needs a key, but it doesn't look that strong, though.
Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. What is it, Kate Walker? The gates, they just closed. Oh, there must be a mechanism to open them somewhere. There always is, Kate Walker. missing here. So, the bag, again. I know, Oscar, I know. Obviously, you do not, Kate Walker. Closing time, huh? What am I supposed to do now? Sleep in a vault until morning? It won't work. Wrong one. It seems so old. This place must be centuries old. Can you bring that pickaxe closer, Oscar? Of course, Kate Walker.
Looks like it's compatible with a bigger mechanism. Grim. You seem disappointed, Kate Walker. About what? Well, correct me if I am wrong, but the fact that Diana Rose lost her baby and became sterile disproves your hypothesis that there can be a family link between you, doesn't it? You're not wrong, Oscar, but I'm just stupidly over-optimistic. I wish I were like you, and not controlled by stupid emotions. Nice of you to say, uh, I guess. Um, sorry, Oscar. That didn't come out so well. These ruins, they look like they're from the Middle Ages or something. Uh, are you all right, Miss Walker? This must have been quite a shock for you, wasn't it? What about that mission Dana led with Leon's resistance network? 
It didn't turn out well, Miss Walker. Actually, that's the reason I left London to be here. Oh? Yes. Uh, just a second, Miss Walker. Where did I put it? What with this blasted storm? It's all over the papers. Here, have a look for yourself. Storm. Excavation work at Devil's Pass has been interrupted. An unexpected storm has obliged the Council to remove the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War and to move them to the Silberspiegel Refuge. Those frozen bodies near the refuge. I heard about them just yesterday. Do you mean... There has been no formal identification yet, Miss Walker. But it's plausible that... That Leon, at least, is among those bodies. Yes. What about the other bodies? According to the medical examiner's office, in all... Three bodies have been extracted from the ice. The one presumed to be Leon, and two others, a man and a woman not yet identified. What happened to Leon? According to the testimonies I've obtained, Leon was killed on that mission the Foreign Office tasked Dana to lead, an avalanche apparently. I am one of the few people still alive to be able to identify him, which is why I'm here. If it weren't for this bloody storm, it would have been done today. Do you think Dana could be among the bodies? I suppose it would be logical. It would explain why I never saw or heard of her again after the mission. Yet according to some witnesses, Dana survived the war and indeed helped resistance fighters from Wagen until the liberation. But if those testimonies were true, then Dana vanished after the war. I see. Try to stay positive, Miss Walker. Only a visual identification will allow us to be certain. We can go as soon as this storm's over, probably tomorrow or the day after. Right. Miss Walker, we've arrived. But you're not coming, are you? Well, Miss Walker, you might not be related to Dana, but you bloody well certainly remind me of her. Instead of waiting for the storm to pass, and for the official identification of the bodies, 
bodies I might add that were trapped in the ice for six decades, you, and by extension me, are going to climb up the mountain so you can identify them yourself. I know, Oscar, I know. But I've just got to be sure. Because if one of those bodies turns out to be Dana, I... I... We'll have no more trains to chase. Like it's holding up despite the storm. I don't think it's cold enough for fuel to freeze, but maybe someone should store it inside just in case. Are you sure you want to stay under the storm to see the bodies, Kate Walker? They'll still be here tomorrow, you know. Maybe, Oscar, but I can't wait. I I've just got to know now. Lenny's left her lookout post. Hardly surprising with this blizzard. No one here? It's not that late. I'd have thought Demoiselle Lenny would still be up. I believe that old people retire early, don't they? A photo of Leon on a ship. Must have been taken during his return from Baltayar. But I still can't figure out how he survived the winter while he was on the run over there. Lenny also had that newspaper clipping about Leon. <sighs> Looks like the old girls built a veritable shrine to him. Another one of those cigars. Demoiselle Lenny had tea with someone. Maybe with that alpinist guy. There's something truly odd going on with Demoiselle Lenny. I really ought to have a little chat with her. But before, the bodies... They are all that count right now.
Too small for a door. Look, Oscar! A distant cousin! Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? I was hoping to find Demoiselle Lenny here. No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Somebody's put the cap back on. Darn it, of course I need a coin again. I'm not going to get a decent photo in this weather. I'm not going to get a decent photo in this weather. I'm not going to get a decent photo in this weather. So that's where the avalanche happened that's supposed to have buried Leon during the war. Probably during the Operation Nunta spoke about it. The one Dana was supposed to oversee. I need to find out what happened to her. I'm not going to get a decent photo in this weather. where the bodies were found. I'm not gonna get a decent photo. What's this? Oh, it's the frozen bodies from the Devil's Pass. Before to bring them a beer because of the blizzard. But their generator shut off. I'm concerned it could damage the bodies. Where's Demoiselle Lenny? Oh, in her room, resting. She... she collapsed right after the forensic team left for Wagen. Jeez, what happened? I'm pretty sure it has to do with the bodies. I mean, she was staring down in that direction for, well, all the time. And then, when they brought them up from the Devil's Pass, it was like... Like she had seen a ghost or something. It was almost as if... As if she knew the departed. What? Is someone taking care of her? Oh yes, don't worry. She's with that hermit who brings her wood and provisions sometimes. Okay, in that case, you go back inside. I'll take care of the generator. Are you sure? Positive, just go. Go on. I need to check something in the tent anyway.
must be something missing here. Must have got it wrong. The gas tank's empty. I better find some fuel so I can turn on the generator. Didn't you come across a jerry can earlier? Better go check it out. Yes! Thanks, Oscar! Like this one's full. Too heavy. I need something lighter so I can carry it to the generator. Oscar. This button must have turned on the generator, Kate Walker. But you still need to use the starter. Okay. Thanks, Oscar. Look, Oscar. The bodies must be over there. Kate Walker, we should find a way to light up the tent. how long they've been there. Must be to crank up the generator.
like the rescuers left in a hurry after they moved the bodies here. Must have been surprised by the blizzard. Forensics Institute of Wagen. An unidentified blonde woman in her 40s. That can't be Dana. It's not Dana in this body bag. That's it, Oscar. Dana's body is not among those found with Leon's. Oh, what a relief. Now that that's cleared up, Kate Walker, maybe we should take shelter within somewhat more solid premises. Right. We should go and check on Demoiselle Lenny in the refuge. I have a lot of new questions for her. Leon. It's as if he died yesterday. Like in those stories where people are found perfectly preserved in ice for decades after being carried away by an avalanche. Hard to believe he's been dead for over 60 years. That's quite amazing. And grim at the same time. That bloody storm. The opposite, Oscar. She's asleep. I'd better go and talk to that guy in the other room.
It's locked. Sir? Are you there? What have we got here? This portrait, it looks like Leon. The style reminds me of that other portrait of him that he described in his letter from Baltayar. The one made by the... Walker. Kate Walker. Yes. And you are... You're the one that Leon saved during the Origin Expedition a long time ago, aren't you? Yes. The Goran from Baltayar. Well, you've come a long way, Mr... Ludwig. Ludwig Hartag. Well, Mr. Ludwig, if you don't mind my asking, what happened when you and Leon returned to Ostertal to join the Resistance fighters? And how did you meet Dana? Leon, my brother. These drawings... They're moments from your life, aren't they? Hmm. That little figure there. That's you, isn't it? When you were a child in Baltayar. Yes. And the two adults there, are they your parents? Uh -huh. Looks like a river. And that little figure looks wounded. Is that you when you met Leon and the scientist from the Origin Expedition? Yes. That person in the middle of the others was in the other paintings. That's Leon, isn't it? Yes. Leon. That group. Is it your tribe, Mr. Ludwig? Yeah. 
So you all live together in a cave in Baltayar. Right. So you and your tribe took Leon in after the death of Reinhard Berger in 1937. That's how he was able to survive the winter in the mountains. Then you went with Leon when he decided to return to Wagen to join the resistance fighters? Mm -hmm. These combat scenes, are they of the liberation of Wagen? Before, during resistance. Had Dana already joined the resistance operation by that time? I mean, by the time shown in the drawing. No, later. The blonde girl with you and Leon can't be Lenny, right? Yes. Lenny, my sister. I knew Lenny was a resistance fighter, but she never told me she fought alongside Leon, let alone you. She even went as far as saying that she never saw Leon again after 1937, when they all met at the refuge with Dana. Why would she hide something so important? Time to check on Lenny. Come, Kate Walker. The sketchbook? I think it was Leon's. Some kind of map. Looks like the Devil Pass to me. Could... 
Could all those marks indicate where the Goran searched for Leon's body? This symbol looks like a warning. These must be plans for secret operations. Must have been some kind of a headquarters here. Maybe for local resistance fighters such as Leon and his group. Weapons. Must have been here since the war, I guess. Detonating wire, just like in the old movies. So much happened to the Gorun since Leon found him in Baltayar. What a life he had. But there are still so many gray areas. I need to learn more from Demoiselle Lenny now. Ah, Fräulein. I knew you would be back eventually. Judging by your face, you and Ludwig already met. We have. And it raised a lot of questions about you. About what you said to me the first time we met, and about what you didn't say. Of course. You can run from your past, but never truly escape it. <laughs> but you already know that. Don't you, Fräulein? I want to understand Demoiselle Lenny. I'd like to understand why you didn't tell me about Leon's death. About fighting with him in the Resistance. And about the Gore... And about Mr. Ludwig. It would have saved us both so much time and effort. Because it would have only begged questions. Questions which lead to events that I've never spoken about to anyone. Not even to you, dear Ludwig. Lenny. Still, I suppose it... it doesn't matter now. Perhaps it's time I confess my crime. What are you talking about? It was the best years of my life. Joining the Resistance, unlike my coward of a father, and fighting alongside Leon after he miraculously got back from Baltayar with Ludwig. It gave me purpose. <laughs> 